Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome to another LP. A new LP! A wonderful LP! A fantabulous, grabulous, blabulous LP! I baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Oh. Peach. Peach baked a cake. So now, we'll just go to the castle and meet up with her and eat the cake. End of game. Three minute LP. Alright. I'm gonna do a 120 star run of this game. It's gonna be messy. It's gonna be horrible. Uh, I'm not good at this game. I obviously have 120 star ran this game before, but some of the 100 coin runs on this are gonna look horrible. But you know, you can do anything with enough practice, right? And enough tries. So, all right. And we don't need to go over this, right? Like everybody's seen the opening of this game. Everybody knows how this game works. Everybody knows that like Mario can jump. He can triple jump. <laughs> Ah! Stupid camera guy. Alright, my plan is to do these levels in whatever order I feel like. Which will not even remotely be in any kind of sequential. Like, I will not. Blah 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 blah! Scram and don't come back! Nobody's home! Got it! Okay, fine. Anyway, we don't really have a lot of options. We gotta go in here first. However, we don't have to get the first star first, so we're not gonna. We're not gonna. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. That's the rules. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bowser stole stuff. There's power stars. We know how this works, right? We should do vertical sandwich. Ah, oh, there's a way to start for you. First level, like first real enemy. But I got him as bad as he got me. Okay, so there are far more creative ways to get this one, but like, oh come on! Uh, if you watch speedrunners do this game, they just grab that babam and blast themselves through the the gate. It's pretty cool, actually. I've never even tried that. I don't even know if I could make that work. But this is, you know, far simpler than the first star getting this one. So there we go. Now, we can go other places. Which is good, because I don't want to play at this level anymore. This isn't my least favorite level, but it's also not my favorite level, so... Okay, so... Ah, oh, we've recovered a power stone! Yay! Okay. And I think it said something in there about Mario Kart and uh, sausages. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Let's, uh, let's see if we can get both of these at once. That would be nice. It would be nice to get. I'm going to try sometimes to get two stars at once. Uh, really, in the levels, though, that's only possible uh, when you combine one star with the 100 coin star. I think. Okay, I can't do the bounce off the walls thing here, so don't expect it. I'm lucky on these slide levels to survive. It will take me a ridiculous amount of tries to get the penguin race one. I'm horrible at it. I'm horrible. Oh, we missed it by a second. That's so stupid. Well, we get the basic one anyway. All right. That's two stars in like four minutes. It's not bad. Right? Right? You guys are with me, aren't you? Okay. So, uh... Yeah, there's this thing. What is this, another door? Sorry. Uh, a kind of almost clue reference there. So this is my favorite level, actually. Uh, Womp's Fortress. Yeah, you know, I shouldn't say that. It's my favorite early level. How about that? There are some things to be said for, like, Boo's Mansion and uh, some of the other other levels in there. All right, and you always jump the way your feet, the opposite way your feet point. So if your ass is pointing somewhere, that's where you're going to jump when you do the handstand. Just that's the only way I can remember it. So... 
there's a star up above us right now, and there's a legitimate like way to get it. Um, that I've long since forgotten. So, uh, I think it has to do with cannons, but like, to hell with that. I will try to do this. I will shortcut stars as much as possible. As much as I am capable of it, I will mess around and shortcut stars. To shoot into the wild blue. Who does that? Like, who actually, like, well. You know what? For a long time, I did it that way. So now we have three stars. So now we can go get a free star. And free stars are awesome. So. Like I said, we're going to do this. We're gonna, I'm going to go through. I will probably ignore crazy important stuff. And do crazy, just like tedious stuff. Like, uh, we'll probably fight Bowser pretty early. Like, instead of cleaning out all these levels. So, over here, there's a thing. There's a deal. Why can't I triple jump that? You have to be moving to triple jump? I know you can jump up here. Oh, come on. Seriously? Look at that! Just grab on, you jerk. Seriously? Ah, Mario, you incompetent Oh, I guess I was off-center enough to... Whatever. Who cares? So there, that's a one-up, and then over here, there's a star. I mean, you gotta crawl in here and do stuff, but whatever. Alright. I know none of this is news to anybody. Everybody's like, yeah, we've all played this game. We've all 120 starred this stupid thing. Uh, but you know, I have this thing about Nintendo 64 games, specifically Ocarina in Time and, and Mario 64. And those, the thing is that I really believe that they're essentially like credibility markers for gamers. That like if you can't play these games at least somewhat competently, like there's something wrong. You missed a big chunk of something, you know? Like so. But I just don't want to do like first off. I don't want to do an Ocarina of Time LP just yet. Um, maybe someday. Because I love Ocarina of Time. I think it's a fantastic game. But one, holy crap has that game been overdone. And two, Navi. Like, and kind of the voice acting and stuff. Like, I don't have to really, like... This game is self-explanatory. Alright. Let's go into this stupid thing. The... Jolly Roger Bay or whatever. Plunder in the sunken ship. All right. I hate this star. I hate it. I hate. I like this level. Hate the star. I'm also not a big fan of the hundred coin star in this level because it's it's pretty easy to mess up. Well, I guess the only really thing you can mess up is miss the blue coins, but. It's just a pain. There's oh, he could drown, I suppose. So anyway, we gotta scare this guy out of here. Um, but you know what? Like, hell with that. Let's go see if we can get the one in here. Can you get that one early? Like, is there like the chest one in here? All right, we did not get hit by that, and we completely got hit by that. That doesn't matter. There's coins in here. Ah. What? What? Oh my god, a way to get the first death out of the way. I am bad at that. Okay. Anywho. I think that was my controller, actually. That's the... Yeah, yeah, my controller's broken. So, anyway. that I don't really mean that. I know it was me and my bad game playing. I just think that the idea is funny that, like... You know, I try to not be one of those people who gets really mad at video games because I realize that, like, it's all my skill. Like, the video game doesn't make a judgment call. You know? Because, like, the video game can only do what it's programmed to do. And in some cases, it can only do what it's programmed to not, you know, I mean, like, when you exploit glitches, obviously that's not what it's programmed to do, but, you know, it can't... It can't let you exploit a glitch that doesn't exist. So I'm not a controller thrower, screaming guy most of the time. There will be some levels in here probably that will test that. That stupid clock! That's gonna be an issue. Alright. So now we're in the ship, and we have to open these treasure chests in sequence. But you already do that, right? Like. Alright. 
One. We got one. One. So now we gotta go find the second one here. It's not that one. So now we know. Now we know. Oh, we've got a... Uh, whatever. Okay. Um, the upside of this is that obviously we're not really taking damage. It's hurting our, our air. So once we get the bubble out of this, we'll be alright again. Come on, bubble. There we go. See? Perfectly fine. Get a whole nother series of shots. I, I have no idea which one this is. I... Ugh. Jeez. Okay, we couldn't be wrong more times than we've been wrong. We're setting a perfect record. And I could still be wrong one more time. Because now I know what the first two are, but I still don't know the sequence for the one after this. Alright. Okay, we got it. Good. Alright, so we get this one. And then swim up as fast as possible. Yeah, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make I never make it. I make it to this platform up here right in front of us. That one shouldn't be a problem. What? No! No! <sighs> come on, come on! Seriously? Wait, what? Seriously? Grab onto something, you dits! Didn't I just say something about me not getting angry? Oh, God. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright. I can't believe I'm climbing this this way. I I don't think I've ever had to do this in any run I've ever done. Yeah. A complete Elpier's curse going on right here. All right, yeah, just stand there. You. There we go. Okay. Good. Now this whole level's changed. Fantastic. Fantastic. Here we go. So now we have five. That's. That's not bad. We could be doing better time-wise. I mean, you know. <clears throat> All right, we're not gonna do that stupid eel one. I know how to do it. I know you just rest above the eel, then you swim dead, and you knock it loose. I like. I'm not. I'm not not doing it because I can't. I'm not doing it because it's boring and I don't like. It. <laughs> like. And I kind of want to open the cannon here. We got a cannon guy. We can open the cannon, and you know, <laughs> that I can shoot places and everything will be fine. All right. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Well, let's have some fun with it. What the heck? There's a red coin. You'll need to know that later. Or I'll need to know it later. I'm pretty confident about where the red coins are at this level. Some levels later, I will not be so confident about. But this one I got a good handle on. Okay. There we go. That's what I want. Boom! Oh, he was on it! We, like, slid down in between that thing. Whatever. We'll take another shot at it. Get it? Shot? Get it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright. In case you didn't notice, I'm shooting at this pillar. <laughs> like, sorry. Again, sorry. A little higher this time, we should be alright. There we go. That's still maybe a little lower than it could have been, but... Alright, and that's that. You can shoot along the wall to get this one, but like... I'm not a precision cannon guy. I'm just not. Ugh. So I don't know, like, what's left now in here. There's, like, red coins and, like... Swimming and stuff. I don't. I just don't feel like doing it. We'll find something else to do. We have a whole playground full of stuff. Really. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna really end up wearing out my welcome in this level. Like this will, without a doubt, this will be the first level I get all seven stars out of. Because I just have a lot of fun with it. So, chip off Womp's block. I suppose we could go actually like, you know. Do something in a way we're supposed to. Oh yeah, cause we won't we won't get a cannon guy this early, so whatever. Uh, I guess if the game's gonna force us to do stuff. Yeah. 
I hate that thwomp over there. I really hate him. Just because you gotta climb up on him to get the coin, the red coin, and like, that's gonna be a disaster when I have to do it. I'm bad at it, I'm horrible at it. I know I say that a lot, but like, truly I am. <laughs> like. <clears throat> okay. And I know this is a completely like noob way to cross this and just to like actually run on the platform, but like whatever, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I hope that has been firmly established by now that I am not trying to impress anybody. Alright. Alright, the wampy old boy. It made me so mad. Oh well thanks. That's his complaint, we never say thank you? Well, then thank you. Pretty simple. Jump on his back, ground pound. Alright. There we go. Just try not to fall off the edge. That's it, all the time in the world for that. No! Crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. Poor guy. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you, Mario. I appreciate it. All right. Back in we go. What the heck? We should have opened some stuff up there now, like, cause now we've got like to the top of the fortress. Might as well do that one too. What, no owl yet? Or maybe he only comes out when you finally get to the star he has to do. Do we have a bomb yet? Ugh. Seriously, people. Seriously. Oh, we could have done that better. If we had just timed that a little differently, we would have made it. And yes, I realize that, like, I mean, you know, I've watched people who are masters at this game play it, and I realize I am not one, so, like... I just like jumping around. I like the noises Mario makes. Ah! See, that was my attempt to be cool. I'm all like, I think I can, I think I can triple jump this, and like, no, I couldn't. Not that you can't do it. I can't do it. Wah! Ah, oh, love it, love it. This game really is. It's beautiful in its simplicity. It's just a beautiful Mario game. There's great environments and fun enemies and is not, you know, is challenging enough to be challenging and like kind of buggy enough to be exciting and like something you can experiment with and it's fun to figure out ways to cheat at stars, you know, I just, I like it, I like it. I approve of this game. It's, it gets seven thumbs up for me. <laughs> Alright. So, now there's this big thing where Thwomp used to be. And a secret right here. Yay, extra guy. Like, nobody knew that. Like, everybody's like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, I, I understand it's a played out game, but I love it. You know? You gotta do what you love. And this will be pretty brief. You know? Oh, nice! We didn't even get on it. Like, it just started really us clinging to the side. Alright, I think this is the last star we're gonna get in this video. So, uh, you guys have fun. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. And, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody!